to you. But uh, as I came back, and I'm here now, and we are going to restore what the University of Nebraska means, I always think there's three parts to building a team. And I've talked about this some before, so I'm not going to talk about it a ton, but I know this. I'm a much better coach when I have great players. So I'm going to build the roster. Like for me, it's recruiting. In the NFL, it was drafting. No matter where you come from, no matter, hey, if it's just the kids walking through the halls, I still think there is an unbelievable opportunity to find players and move them to the right position. Like, how, how at Baylor can you ever compete with Texas and Oklahoma? Man, it's taking that wide out and saying, hey, let's go play linebacker. Like, every single day waking up and having someone on your staff that's looking at the bottom half of your roster and saying, why isn't he playing? Like, the best thing I do, if there's anything good I do football-wise, because I used to be a football coach, now I'm just a head coach, I don't really coach football anymore, man, is I run the scout team. And I'm sitting there saying, like, well, why aren't we playing with him? Why aren't we playing with him? Finding the guys on your roster and giving them an opportunity. Finding the guys and changing their positions. Finding the guys and giving them a vision, man. Because like young people, if they don't have any hope, if they don't think they're ever going to get on the field, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to be motivated every single day. But when they recognize like, hey, I might not be playing now, but maybe I have a chance to play if I move to this position or if I put on these 10 pounds or if I do this. If you give them a plan, you have a chance. So for me, it's about just exhausting every aspect of the roster to try to build a team that can win at a high level. Number two is the culture. It's, it's what we do and how we do it. I try to use the word culture less and less with our team because I don't, you know, it, it can take on a lot of different meanings and people can interpret it. And to me, it's like our mindset. Like, how do we do what we do? Is it our philosophy or is it really our identity, man? Is it like, is it the way, like, when we were at Temple, we were Temple tough. We were at Baylor, we were the brand. And then Joey came in and stole that thing from me. Where you at, McGuire? He's not here. All right, he stole it from me. No, he's the best, the best of the best. And now, now in Nebraska, man, we're going to try to create something new. A culture, a mindset, a way of doing things that's, that's, that's different and it's just only for us. That our, our, our kids can believe in, man. Because I know this, our young people, my children at home, the guys that I coach, they are getting messages sent to them 24 hours a day. I'll tell my players sometimes, I'm like, hey, Coach Trailer, how much film did you watch uh, yesterday? Well, Coach, I watched maybe 20 minutes. I didn't have a chance to. I said, go look at your phone. You know, you guys get that weekly report on your phone, how much time you spend on your phone a day. It's usually like seven, eight, nine hours. If, if you can do 18 minutes of something a day, it's the 100-hour rule. If you can do 18 minutes of something a day, you're better after one year than 95% of the population at that. So, like, our culture is what are we all doing, not are we all saying. And then finally, the last piece for us is the football, the X's and O's. Like, I thought, I thought a coach just did an unbelievable job talking about the, th the third down package and me and Cooper over there talking. Like, we want to be advanced. We want to be great technically. We want to be great football-wise. So, it's three, these three parts, all of them equal, that build a winner. But I've said that before. Guys, what I've learned and what I was like bent on doing at the highest level at Nebraska is what brings all that together. And what I learned in the NFL through my, 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 my good days, my bad days, my struggles is, man, like, I, I need mortar. I need quick creed. I need something to bring all that together. And for, the, for me, that's the staff. Those are the people that bring all of it together. It's the quiet conversations with a kid one-on-one -on -one in the meeting room. It's the, it's the, it's the, when we're talking about the offense, it's whether your D-line coach kind of rolls his eyes about the offense or if he's sitting there saying, hey, we, we are all moving forward together. It's the staff that brings everybody together, or it's the staff that lets everything crumble. Next slide. 